Many of you know that I tend to be a bit long-winded on these and now I have a, a whole slew of phase two communication tools to utilize, so <laughs> let's look out. <laughs> On my end, I really feel like I need to get this stuff out to you guys, for myself and for you. But phase two actually was really important to me. It was harder than I expected because a lot of people said kind of what Kevin alluded to, that they kind of went through it. Uh, it took me a lot of diving deep to look at these toxic relationships. It caused me to, forced me to set hard and soft boundaries, um, some with people that I used to love, some with people that I love now, uh, some with people that I'll never see again that I had to come to terms with and um, it's not an easy thing uh, but I know that it gave me some tools to kind of manage those relationships in my future. I of course have to thank uh, our friendly neighborhood phase two facilitator Phil. Phil, your willingness to share really gives your clients um, courage and permission to open up about our own experiences and uh, my opinion is that this entire program doesn't function unless we, those people in front of me, are able to share with ourselves our experiences and I take that uh, in your room, Phil, as something that you really cultivate. Uh, you give us a lot of insight, knowledge, and wisdom every day in your room and out of it and I just need to say a couple words about the graduates. Uh, Jane, you've been kind of team mom I think since I arrived here. I don't know who's gonna, you know, bring the metaphorical orange slices out when you're gone. Uh, but as I've said before, I appreciate you tolerating uh, all the young and sometimes young male energy around you. And whenever that sort of biting wit snaps back, I kind of was surprised by that, but it's awesome. You've surprised with that. You've surprised us with your skill on the volleyball court and we're all gonna miss you. Rocco, um, You've been really open and vulnerable as anyone since I'm here, again, both in and out of the rooms. Uh, and I'm really proud of you that you are getting to the point where you understand that doesn't uh, make you any less strong. And um, my greatest hope for you is that you use that ability to bring what you learned here back. I really appreciate it. Phase two was uh, hard for me. Thank you. We believe that you should empower the individual mm -hmm. and that we need to show them what went wrong and then give them their power back so that they can tackle addiction as an issue and overcome that. With your program, how successful are you? And so we track them all the way through the program and then after the program. And last year we ranked number one in the entire nation based off of success and overall results. So if people wanted to get more information, where do they go? ElevateRehab.org.